what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is pk and you're watching box digital i've put together a list of um, hosting companies in south africa which provide hosting and domain registration these are fairly big companies which have been operating for more than eight years i can vouch for a couple of them from this list because i've used them before some of them i've heard of before but i've never used some of them are completely new to me so the main aim of this video is to find the cheapest hosting and registration for 2023. We're also trying to see which ones are the best cost effective for small businesses trying to enter the website market space. So this list is mainly curated for small businesses which basically just want to have a website and the basics that come with it, the email and the security. So the prices on here are taken now in the beginning of 2023 and probably will change if you're watching this towards the end of the year. The companies we'll be looking at are Afrihost, OneGrid, GoDaddy, Domains.co.za, Zillow, I think that's how you pronounce it, Absolute Hosting, Host Africa, and Access. That's the eight companies we'll be looking at. So if I left out a company that you think should be on the list, I'll leave a comment down below with that company. Go check it out. So the new host Hosting companies which I'm not familiar with are Absolute Hosting and Host Africa. They've been covered by prominent technology websites like My Broadband and Tech Central. So what we did was we looked at these companies' entry website packages and we looked at what they came with. Hosting companies generally offer the same features but at different sizes. We put these companies and the features on a spreadsheet so we can do a more comprehensible um, comparison. We didn't list all the features that the hosting packages came with, just the prominent ones that influence if someone's going to be taking a package or not. The features we chose were based on what a uh, basic small business would actually need. So we noted storage side, hard drive type, does it come with a free domain, does it come with email accounts, if any, how many databases does it actually come with, does it come with free SSL bandwidth and what the size of the bandwidth is, if any, does it come with backups, are you able to actually have subdomains on the domain, what's its yearly renewal rate is, what control panel option it comes with, and lastly it's Google review rating. We noted speed as a condition but we can't really know right now because I haven't, I've only signed up with Afrohost. I know they have speed so we can't really do a real comparison of that. Let me know if you'd actually like to see a video of that, me comparing speeds of the different hosting packages of the companies and what they speed do. Alright, so the table currently looks like this. Let's populate the table with the information that I got. So what you're looking at are the entry packages of these hosting companies. This list is not in any order right now. The link to the spreadsheet is in the video description below if you want to just download it for yourself. We won't go through each one, I'll just highlight some important points and some red flags that I feel like I picked up. I've also included an alternative tab in case you do not want to go with entry packages and you want something more a bit different to the entry packages. So keep watching, I'll show that towards the end. Alright, let's start with our host. This package used to cost 39 Rand per month, it now costs 49 Rand, which I don't think is cost effective anymore. It's disk space and this size is not feasible at this point. They've got a hard drive type of a mechanical hard drive and not a solid state. Plus it only comes with a one secure database. Afrohost does have a good support team um, and they're always ready to help. OneCred offers 10 gigs of SSD space which is very good but you are limited when it comes to number of websites and databases that you can have. For 89 Rand we'd like to see a bit more websites and a bit more databases. Alright, GoDaddy just has issues. I would not recommend them. The prices displayed here are not the real prices. When you try signing out for this 39 Rand per month package, basically it offers it at a three year term and plus you have to pay for all this month up front at once if you just choose a monthly package for one month it jumps up to 65 rand a month so it's not really 39 rand which is very crazy for a package that doesn't have much it doesn't have email it doesn't come with a free domain it doesn't come with free ssl reflex go that is just reflex Okay, domains.co.za is entry package has 10 gigs of SSD space. You're able to host five websites. It has five databases and you're able to have five subdomains. And it is priced at 99 Rand a month, which I feel like is, is reasonable. However, the privacy uh, for you to hide your privacy is 50 Rand a year, which I feel like is a bit red flaggy. Most domains offer that for free. 
Zillow's entry package offers 5 gigs of SSD space. You can add 10 websites, gives you 5 databases, and an SSL certificate, and all this for 99 Rand per month. It has it has no free domain and no subdomains. For 99 Rand, I feel like that's a bit too steep, especially since the storage size is 5 gigs. Um, Absolute Hosting has a secondary package that offers 750 megabytes of SSD storage. It also comes with 30 email accounts and 5 databases and subdomains all for 23 rand per month. One would argue that 750 megabytes is small, but if you strap for cash and want a functional website with an email, with one email, I think this is a cool package. Host Africa's entry package offers 20 gigs of uh, SSD storage. It has five databases, um, gives you 25 email accounts. You can only have two websites on this package, which I feel like is a bit limiting. It's priced at 89 rand per month, and I feel like this is reasonable for 20 gigs. Lastly, we have Access. The entry package offers two gigs of SSD storage. It allows for one website and one subdomain. It has five databases and has a control panel called Intuit. If you want cPanel, it's, it will be additional 15 Rand per month. So from the entry packages, the one with the most space is Host Africa with 20 gigs, followed by GoDaddy, OneGrid, and Domains.co.za, each with 10 gigs. So the best reviewed hosting company here is Host Africa, with a Google review of 4.9 out of 5, followed by OneGrid, Zillow with 4.7. The package which offers the most websites is Zillow with 10 websites followed by Absolute Hosting and Domains.co.za which have 5 each. The cheapest hosting package is Absolute Hosting with 23 Rand per month followed by Access and Apple Host for 49 Rand per month. I've also calculated the total registration cost you're expected to pay when you sign up for these packages. These are not in any order. As you can see, all the packages which don't come with the domain have a higher sign up fee than their monthly fee. But it's important to note that this price is only at initial purchase and uh, the price will go back to the monthly premium. For those looking for alternatives to some of the entry packages, I've put them in this tab. This has some of the light speed server packages which range around the 100 month mark okay so this is a disclaimer these are not the only hosting companies out there in south africa or the world and um, these are not the only hosting packages out there in the world there's definitely more than this all commentary and advice on this video is based on my opinion and you are not obligated to use it this video is for information and educational purposes only okay so this last information is based on my opinion um, you guys can definitely give me yours in the comments section you know as we build this community i will need your guys's feedback so we can grow so here's my best packages list based on the packages we went through. Absolute Hosting came in um, as the cheapest with 750 megabytes of SSD storage, 30 email accounts, 5 SQL databases and comes with a free SSL and automatic backups for 23 Rand per month. Access came in as my best entry with 2 gigs of SSD storage, 75 email accounts, 5 SQL databases which can host 2 websites, 1 subdomain and free SSL all for 49 rand per month. Post Africa came in as my best value package with 20 gigs of SSD storage, 25 email accounts. You can have two websites and five SQL databases. It has automatic backups and it's highly rated on Google all for 89 rand per month. I also added domains.co.za as the best entry for multiple websites. You can easily divide that 10 gig storage among the five websites giving you about two gigs each that is a really reasonable website package or website space okay so let me know in the comment section which of those packages you would have picked as the best entry and best value for one website and multiple multiple websites i'll also be doing a tutorial on how to sign up for any of these hosting companies um, i've put links to these hosting companies in my video description so if you do want to go to them click on those links below some of those links are affiliate that means that i do get a commission for new signups 
subscribe so let me know what you sign up tutorial you'd like to see first also let me know what you think of this video did it provide you with any value and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video before you go and recommend this video they'll post up here how to sign up for the cheapest domain which we've just gone through right so i'm doing a video on signing up with absolute hosting if you are ready to sign up for your hosting click this video here it'll take you straight there i am pk and you have been watching books digital Peace.